UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal turned pro in mixed martial arts back in 2003. More than 45 pro MMA fights to his credit. Seems to have finally found the division in which he belongs and trying to make a run here to welterweight title contention. At welterweight, he has a speed advantage. He also can still defend takedowns very, very effectively. You want to fight? Get an octagon. Get a boxing ring. Let's go in someone's backyard. Yeah. It does not matter. Just tell Jorge Masvidal where it's at. He'll be there. This is a fighter's fighter, and he's always looking for a good scrap. And that's why when Leon Edwards confronted him backstage, had to give him the three-piece in the soda, right? He got him with a biscuit. <laughs> he got him with the biscuit. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Masvidal is six years his senior. The rest of the numbers are close. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, seven losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil, Vicente, the silent assassin, Luke And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red Masvidal. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. The fighters touch him up. So we've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. <laughs> this one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Work, guys, come on. Masvidal's punch to the body. That one is blocked. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, for years, Tyron Woodley had said Jorge Masvidal is the best boxer on this UFC roster. Certainly showed you the hands there. I mean, he's showing it. 
man, I mean, this, I mean, he's showing it, John. This guy has an ability to stand and box with anyone in the UFC. And that was on full display when he beat Nate Diaz. And he landed the right hand there. And now Masvidal's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Game bread gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, nice right hand. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. And they separate. Just misses with the jab. Nice defense there, huge block. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And they separate. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. Knee strike coming in his block. Right punches there. Liver kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Unable to connect with the right. Big kick land. Now Masvidal's kick is blocked. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Hey, stop. All right, take a seat for me. Deep breath for me. All right, relax and listen. Now, the end of that round was great. But you still probably lost. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Come on, 
And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Straight right, he misses. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Flush right hand is true. And now Masvidal's kick is blocked. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Take him down. Oh. Oh, big left. Hip over when he throws that kick. Keep your face so a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Missed with that right hand. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right hand on point. Big leg kick lands. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, Masvidal on a real flow here, sticking and moving. The crowd is like just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with. Oh, man, a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Oh, yeah, right here. Game break getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Tonight. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Let's go. Get him off you. Get him off. 20 seconds to go round two. Ten seconds to go in the round. And the horn sounds on round two.
right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, a huge block there. Just a slip there. Good kicks, good kicks. Work, guys. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Slips the punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Keep busy. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that's a big right hand there from Game Bread. Boxing fundamentals, certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a street fighting background, and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with every strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spots. That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets now. He loaded up there on that high kick. Three minutes. Let me see some Caught the kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Whoa! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Back to the jab now, no good. Game break gets caught with that punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Run him down. Spinning attack from Masvidal. So unofficially 69 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. And landing with 38% accuracy there tonight against Jorge Masvidal. Oh! What a fantastic... Whoa! Big, oh, knee. big knee there. Beautiful knee. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. Beautiful takedown on tip lane. Under one minute remains in round three. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Thirty seconds to go in this one. Twenty seconds left. Final seconds. Good 
Good work from the top here by Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Blocks the shot. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Gamebred gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, man, head keep playing. Try to establish that jab. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Oh! Game bread going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left hook there. All right, single collar tie now. That's a big strike right there. Pretty significant. Left side. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Two minutes remain in the round. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Takedown defense holds up. Ooh! And they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Single collar tie now. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And a nice stiff jab there. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Gamebridge. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. One minute. Time to go. Now connects with a right. Okay, let's focus. Not let's there. Focus now. Good punch. Punches and bunches. Punches and bunches. Let's go. Under a minute to go in round four.
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Got the single collar tie. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 58 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.